perfect problem for telephonic interviews because it is able to test a lot of different things. How well do you know about binary trees? How good you are with traversal techniques? And how quickly you can come up with a solution? So let us see how do we tackle it. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. First, I will explain you the problem statement and we will look at some sample test cases. Going forward, we will start off with the most naive approach and see why it fails. We will then use the level order traversal technique to come up with an efficient solution. And after that, we will also do a dry run of the code so that you can visualize how all of this is actually working in action. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's make sure that we understand the problem statement correctly. In this problem, you are given the root of a binary tree and you have to return me the values from top to bottom when you are viewing it from the right hand side. So what does this actually mean? Let us say I have this particular binary tree with me. You have to assume that you're looking at this tree from the right hand side. Now, what will you see? You see all of these nodes that are on the far most right hand side and you have to return them from top to bottom. So for this particular test case, you need to return one, five, seven, and then a eight. Because going top to bottom, these are all the rightmost nodes, correct? It may seem that, okay, I just have to return on the right nodes. But if you look at the second test case, things might get a little bit complex. Notice what happens when you're viewing this tree from the right side. What do you see? You see a particular node over here that is on the right of the root. And then you have all of these nodes which are on the left of your root. So the calculation is not very, very simple. But if you look at from top to bottom, what all elements are you seeing? You see one, then a five, then eight, then six, and then a seven. So for this particular test case, this list is your answer. If you feel that you have now understood the problem statement even better, feel free to first try it out again. Otherwise, let us dive into the solution. When you try to approach this problem, you can have a very basic test case. For example, this, this test case is relatively very, very easy. You are viewing it from the right side and to get all of your right nodes, what you can simply do is you start from the root and then keep on going to the rightmost node until you reach a null. And at every iteration, you just capture the value that you're getting. In this particular test case, this technique works absolutely fine. You will get one, five, seven, and then a eight. And that is the correct answer. But there can be scenarios where this approach fails. Take a look at this scenario. If you try to approach it in the same way, you start from the root element that is perfect. So you get one, then you go right, you find a five, and then that's it. If you go to the right, there is a null. But you have all of these elements available as well. So you might think that, okay, I can go to the left and then I can try to find all of the right elements again. But this approach will still not work. You can have more elements over here, which get hidden by this six. So there are a lot of things that you need to keep under consideration. For this particular test case, you are looking at one, five, eight, six, and then a seven. This is in fact your answer. So any other nodes that are over here, they can get hidden by the nodes that are on the right hand side. So you need to account for it somehow. Now we want to find a solution for it. And it becomes very, very obvious that you have to traverse the tree somehow. What are the most common traversing techniques that you know about? For example, if I have three nodes like this, I know of the three basic traversing techniques. One is a pre-order traversal, an in-order traversal, and a post-order traversal. All of these methods will help you to navigate your tree in some or the other way. But none of them will guarantee you that, okay, this is the rightmost node. You can say that, okay, when I see a B over here, I will get a B in the end. But it is not guaranteed that this B will always be the rightmost node for every level. And that is your hint. As soon as you think about level, think what is happening over here. You are looking at each of the level in your tree. And for each level, you are looking at the last element. And that gives you a very good hint, the level order traversal. 
And this is one technique that people often forget about. Notice what will happen. If I have one more node over here, now this node is hidden, correct? You are looking at from this direction. So six will block the view. But if you're doing a level order traversal, first you get one, then two and a five. So you will be able to capture five, then three and a eight, you capture eight. Then you have nine, 10 and six on the same level. You only need to look at the last element. And once again for seven, you find the element and that is the last element itself. That is exactly what we're going to do. And when you find this question in a telephonic interview, you have to be quick. You want to make sure that, okay, I need to traverse the tree somehow. All the three traditional techniques will never guarantee me that, okay, this is the rightmost element. What about a level order traversal? I can go level by level and then the last element of every level is the rightmost element, correct? It can also change. The first element of every level is the leftmost element. Also, every element at every level tells you the height of that particular node. So a level order traversal technique actually helps you with all of this information. And it is also known as the breadth first search because you start from the root and then you will look at the first level that is available. After that, you will find the second level, then the third and then the fourth. For each level, just capture the last element that you're getting. Once you do that, you will have your final output and it will already be in the form of top to down approach. So you will finally get your answer. If you're new to level order traversal techniques, I would highly recommend you to watch my original video first because over there, I go into more details of how can you implement it? How does it actually look? And what do each levels actually mean? So if you're aware about that, this problem is really, really easy to solve. Now, based upon that understanding, let us quickly do a dry run of the code. On the left side of your screen, you will have the complete code to implement this solution. And on the right, I have the sample test case and the root of the tree is passed in as an input parameter to the function. What is the first thing that we do? First of all, we will create our result list. And we also have a check on a terminal condition that if the root is null, I, say I can simply return, right? That is just a base case. Going forward with the level order traversal, we create a queue and we will add the first element of my tree to this queue. So one gets added to your queue. Now is the time that we actually run our while loop. And in this loop, we will iterate over each of the element. Since this is the first level, I know that this is my one element. I can simply add it to my final result, correct? Now, what do you want to do? You want to check the level size. The level size will be equivalent to the size of your queue and you will see it in just a while. So what do you do? You pop an element from your queue and then you will look at the left element and the right element and you are going to add them to your queue. So two and five will get added to your queue. What just happened? You got one that gets added to your result and two elements got added to your queue. So you covered first level and now you have queued up your second level. So when this loop runs again, what is your level size? This is Q dot size. So it is telling me that level two only has two elements. What will I do again? I will pop an element, two gets popped out and then I will add the children of two to my queue. Notice that I still haven't covered my entire level. This is where this for loop comes in handy. It will run until my level size. It simply means that I need to pop one more element. As soon as I pop five, I get this over here. Notice that five does not have any children. So no other elements get added to the queue. But this is the last value that was available in my queue for this particular level. So I will add this last value to my result. So this is how your result will keep on populating. Now is the time for your third level and this time three will get popped out. You will again cover its children and add it to your queue. This is how your loop will continue to work. And at the very end, you will have your result available. This result will have all the elements that are at the rightmost corner of your entire tree. The time complexity of this particular solution is order of n, where n is the total number of nodes in your tree. And that is because you need to iterate over every node at least once. 
and the space complexity of this solution is also order of n because if you have a complete binary tree then you can have at most n nodes in your worst case that are present in your queue i hope i was able to simplify the problem and its solution for you when it comes to telephonic interviews always notice that the problem will not be very complex it just requires quick thinking and that is where your base concepts come in very very handy think about this problem if you know the level order traversal technique the right view is very easy and similarly you can also be asked about the left view they are literally the same problems correct what do you think about a top view and a bottom view just ponder upon that and tell me everything in the comment section below also let me know if you found any problems while going throughout the video as a reminder if you found this video helpful please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends this really keeps me motivated and i can make more such videos also a huge shout out to all of the members who support my channel you guys really keep me going and as a member you do get priority reply to your comments and early access to new videos as well stay tuned for my upcoming videos until then see ya